Hello there. Hey there. Hi there. Ho oh there. What do you <laughs> After you do about 300 of these videos, you always wonder to yourself, you know, what's the best way to say hello? Well, if you say hello, I'm Lenny McGill every time. It almost sounds repetitive if you watch, you know, 500 of these videos. But uh, that's basically how I start. Hello, I'm Lenny McGill. This is the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop right here in San Diego, California. I want to thank you for watching. And uh, today we want to talk about a brand new uh, pair or set of sights that uh, has been uh, brought to market by Trijicon. Now, Trijicon is the big military contractor. And uh, they, uh, about a year and a half ago or so, they, they came out with the, uh, the HD sights. And HD sights were extremely popular. And the concept being is they, um, they instead of doing a notch in the back they actually did a rear u okay and the u was a little bit wider than a traditional notch and hence that's basically the same size as the rear u right there and you'll notice the two um trigicon or tritium inserts that uh are night sights so they glow at nighttime with no batteries so i think most of you know what tritium is uh it is a radioactive material that is encapsulated in a glass tube that is uh drilled into these things and it lasts you know about 10 years without any batteries that will glow at nighttime and it's pretty spectacular they're very light, they're very bright when you uh your eyes become accustomed to the darkness uh so if you're outside and you want to you know try it sometime you know give yourself a, you know 15 20 minutes to adjust to the darkness and then look at those sites and say wow they really are bright so anyways the hd site came out and it was extremely popular it had a had a big wide open uh uh, rear U notch, and then uh, they had a big fat front sight. Really good for guys like me who are a little bit older, not that old, but a little bit older, and the eyes are not quite as crisp as when I was 25 years old. That being said, the um, uh, it was a big hit. I mean, very popular. We sold thousands of them, and I've got them on my my race gun, my G34, and I love them because it's it pulls that you know your your front sight. Your eyes go right to it because it's so big. It just pulls your eyes right to the front sight, which is, you know, really the best thing for accuracy. You know, focus on front sight, front sight, front sight. So all that said is um, as those sights got into pop, uh, population base and, and, and spread across, you know, uh, all kinds of different shooters, you know, 1911 Glocks, XDs, everything, a lot of guys are saying, well, you know, it's a great sight for close-up, fast target acquisition. Exactly. That's what I like it for. It's, it's all, you know, 10 yards and in, real fast, just go. But as you get a little farther out, that big front sight post, you know, because it's oversized, that big front sight starts to take up a lot of the target. And because of that, your pinpoint accuracy suffers. Now, you can still hit the target, you know, certainly, if you do all the mechanics properly, line the sights up properly, squeeze the trigger properly, all that good stuff. But the fact is, is that you don't really know if you're on the left eyeball or the right eyeball. It just covers the whole head. How's that for an analogy? Okay, same thing chest, you know, is it an A zone or is it off to the edge there? Because you really can't see the target because the whole front post at those distances was covering the target. So they said, well, okay, we, we've got it. Now we're going to respond to that with this new, and they call it the XR. I guess it's extend, what they call it, extended range. Okay, XR. <laughs> so it's the new HD XR, extended range sight. Concept being that it's a thinner post. And there, I've got this installed on my Polymer 80 compact frame with a textured finish. Uh, I'm upgrading this gun as we go. Uh, I think uh, if you watch some of the videos, you'll know that I've got the uh, polymer magwell fits on it. I've got our black and silver pyramid trigger going so far. And I've also got the new double diamond checkered extended magazine release button. Pretty awesome right there. So I'm going to go black and silver theme on this gun. And then up here, I've um, got the orange version of this site. For whatever reason, I like orange. Okay, there's a yellow version as well. So I've got the yellow on another gun, uh, but I decided I like the orange better. So, you know, I've got the orange on my race gun, my, my 34. Uh, but, you know, for whatever reason, I, I just, I'm just more comfortable with the, uh, the orange front. But the difference here with the XR is that it's a thinner front. And so there's the sight picture as you'll see it. And let me get it lined up for you here. Let's see if I can get the gun to go straight up and down. <laughs> there we go. And... That's what you're supposed to be looking at. You want to see that front sight focused and just nestle that guy in there, just like that. There you go, Nick. 
that's the concept of, of how your sight picture should look. Now, if you've got really good eyes, both these things will be in focus. A lot of us older guys are going to have trouble focusing on that even. Okay, so honestly, the idea is that the bigger dot is going to be easier to place on the target. But they realize that some people want longer distances, and hence they came up with this extended range or XR sight. Now here's what their drawing looks like, and this will give you a, a, a good idea of what we're talking about. So this is on their package. It's a thinner front post. There's the original one right below, okay? And it's, see, there's your normal sight picture. Here's a thinner front post. That's the concept. So the thinner front post gives you more precision. So as you line the front post up on the target you wish to hit, you can actually see that you're on the left eye versus the right eye, okay? Uh, these are great sites, I'm telling you. Uh, we've had tremendous success installing these for people with uh, lots of happy customers. I don't think we ever get them back. Uh, so it's not a returnable item. I mean, people, I mean, you can return it, but, you know, I mean, <laughs> no one ever returns them. They're that good. Uh, I've got them now installed on this Polymer 80 compact frame uh, because I like them, but I also want to show it to you because I just think they're going to be super hot for those of you who want to shoot a little longer distances. So it's interesting now, you know, that I've got, you know, my 34 and I do mostly close up and, and really, you know, fast and, and uh, you know, uh, kind of fast and furious close shooting. You know, it's, it's almost point in the shooting. Just I'm seeing the front sight, but I'm looking right over it. This one now is, it gives you the ability to really focus on the uh, front sight itself. And, and again, the technique is not only to have it, the front sight into, uh, lined up, should I say, uh, with the, uh, the notch here. But also, then, is to have the exact amount of space on the front and rear, or either side, should I say, of that front sight. So if we can go here like this. So we wouldn't want to be cheating like that. We'd want it to be lined up exactly. So as you hold the gun, you want the front sight to be nestled in the U with the exact amount of light on either side of the front sight. And that gives you the most center spot. So that in itself is a skill, but it's certainly uh, one that you can acquire by practice. So, uh, you know, as you hold the gun, it's always moving. We know that. Now we want to really focus on not only the fact that the front post is in the notch, but how much light is on either side, either the right or left side, and is it the same? Because if it's the same, then I'm exactly lined up, and that's what I'm trying to accomplish. And I think you'll have uh, great success with these new uh, extended range XR, HD XR sights. We've got them on our website. They're available, like I said, for all calibers, 9, 40, 357. And of course, there's a different set that's available for the 45 and the 10 millimeter. So make sure you specify which gun you have. And uh, we can certainly um, uh, get them shipped out to you. Now, if you're local or if you want, you can send us your slide and we'll install these for you at no additional charge because that's what we like to do here at the Glock Store. I'm Lenny McGill, and this is the Glock Store Performance and Custom Center right here in San Diego, California. If you're ever in Southern California, in San Diego certainly, in Riverside, uh, San Bernardino, Ontario, up in that area, it's just a couple hour drive. Come on down and see us because I think you'll be very impressed and pleased with the store. Bring your gun down, we'll do all the installations for free, and you can shoot in our indoor combat range. And ask for me, I'll come out and say hello. Thanks again for watching, I'll see you next time.